ask uh, Coach to make some comments, and then we'll take some questions. Um, glory to God and a bunch of great kids um, that uh, have gotten better with each game, uh, never uh, quit the fight, and uh, believed in the process and believed in just keeping and getting better each and every week. Um, can't tell you how proud I am of them for finishing like they have, finishing strong, uh, and uh, their trust uh, in us as a coaching staff. And what they did today, I couldn't be any happier. Uh, it gives us the opportunity, hopefully, to be in Santa Clara. We're going to be the biggest Wildcat and Buffalo fans you've ever seen uh, over the next two weeks. Uh, but we've put ourselves in position uh, to have a great December, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so proud of, of our seniors. Um, I'd like to thank them, uh, especially our senior captains, um, between uh, Michael Pittman, uh, Christian Rector, John Houston, and Jordan Iosefa. Their leadership is phenomenal, and the seniors, I'm so glad they got the opportunity to bring the victory bell back home uh, to USC. I'd also like to thank Dr. Barner um, to be able to have that moment and hug his neck. Um, he's the best in at what he does in the free world. And uh, it was it was emotional to see him do his last time here in the Coliseum. So um, it would be a great day to be a Trojan, and uh, I will take any questions that you got. Clay, how do you put in perspective what Keaton keeps doing each week? Um, you know, this is four out of five games with 400-plus yards. And I thought um, he's doing a really nice job of finding the one-on-one -on -one opportunities uh, and believing in his playmakers. Uh, I, in 25 years, I've never had four receivers um, over 100 yards. Um, he, you know, that's, I think, the most ever for here. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of what he's become. Uh, I, most importantly, I'm proud of how coachable he is uh, and learns from mistakes and gets better uh, with each time. And he winds up in his first rivalry game against UCLA and, and comes in, and now he's 1 0. So proud of what he's doing. What was your concern when he went down there? Third? Um, you, you know, uh, being an adopted father, you know, you, you lose your breath for a second and you, and you hope that everything's all right, that uh, uh, arms are moving, legs are moving, um, got a little whiplash there, um, you know, nothing concussion-wise. They fully checked him out and, you know, just took a deep breath and he's like, Coach, I'm fine. I just, uh, I got hit, I got a little whiplash, I'm ready to go. And our doctors are really good, ultra protective of them, and uh, they did the right thing, pulled him out for a series, checked out everything, and then moved on. So, yeah, you, you, you hold your breath for a second. Maybe so you got a, a second with Mike Bowen on the field after the yeah. game. Uh, what did you guys say to each other? And he just said, man, just so proud for you. Um, and uh, enjoy this. Enjoy it with your kids. Enjoy it with your family. Um, and I've said this a bunch. I'm, I'm so appreciative for him and the support he's given these kids and our staff since day one uh, that he's been here. And uh, um, he's brought great energy, great juice, and great enthusiasm. Uh, for our team as we go down the stretch here. And I, I, that carried over. I mean, to be in the team meetings, to be at practice, to be in the locker room with these guys, you know, it shows support for a team that, you know, is a young team. You know, only seven of those guys out there on scholarship are, are gone. The rest of them are coming back. And this is a team that can be really, really good. And his support uh, I, it was critical for us down the stretch. So appreciate him. Keaton, when you think about all the great quarterbacks that are, you have played at USC over the years, what does it mean to take over the single game passing yard record? Uh, obviously, it's an honor um, to be up on that list, but um, you know, I think it just reflects on the receiving core and the players around me. Um, like the coach said, we have four receivers over 100 yards. I don't think any of those other guys had an opportunity to have the four of their receivers do that. So um, it's just a testament to the players around me, I think. Um, well, I haven't really thought about it yet. Like, even though it's over, uh, I mean, it just happens so fast. And I'm just so thankful that I got the opportunity to battle just with my uh, brothers. And I feel like it's been a good ride, but we still got uh, one or maybe even two more games left. So I'm not done yet. Clay, you always hear coaches compliment players for making decisions tougher you know, on them. Um, I would imagine that over these last several weeks, you've made the administration's upcoming decision about you know your future uh, more difficult. It's kind of how proud are you of are you of that? Yeah, I want us to all remember it's about our kids. Okay, it's not about me. It's not about our coaching staff. It's about the student athletes and what they're able to accomplish and what they're able to do. Um, and couldn't be more proud of a bunch that just stayed focused, stayed consistent, um, and you know we asked to finish strong. And these kids came out and battled down the stretch and, and really put their best foot forward. Um, and a bunch of young kids bonded together uh, to do something really pretty cool. Um, and so
So let's make it about them and uh, and focus on them. With you guys still alive, how do you structure the next week, practice-wise, recruiting? Yeah, so we, we actually are coming back on Monday to clean up this tape. We'll, we'll go Monday and Tuesday, Kyle, um, as far as working on Oregon. We know what the north is, so we're going to clean this tape up. There are some things that we that, that happened today we need to clean up, a couple sacks, you know, a couple coverage busts that we, we need to need to sure up. Um, and then we're going to work on Oregon on Tuesday, and then our guys will be released for Thanksgiving. You know, we, we were given this 12 game, you know, one by schedule. Uh, everybody else is working next week. Um, it's going to give us a chance to be able to get re energized, get healthy, put some work in towards Oregon. And, and like I said, I just have a belief that something great is going to happen for us in December uh, because of this win today. Oh, no. What do you think about the defense's ability to, like, to contain or not to contain DTR today? Uh, you know, our job is to come in, you know, we want to shut down the running back and make sure, you know, eyes on him so then it kind of puts focus for back in to make sure we cop our eyes on the QB uh, make sure if he tries to get out so thought we need to make sure to take care of him. I will say this, is so you all know, 18 tackles today, which is the first, uh, was his most since Troy Palomalo. Uh, back what year was it, Tim? 01. Huh? 01. 01. Uh, yeah. Just a phenomenal performance. Uh, 5-1-5. Clay, you talk about, two, two, Clay, you talk about finishing strong. Uh, obviously, you have some hindsight now. <laughs> Why do you think that that strong finish didn't extend to maybe earlier, uh, or yeah, just, he didn't find his stride? It's an honest question. It, it's a it's a fair question, and I think one that I thought we caught a little bit of the perfect storm. Youth and injuries um, can hurt any football team. Uh, lose three backs, uh, lose lose a first and a second string quarterback, and, uh, and and how about Matt Fink coming in and doing his thing? We just kind of caught the perfect storm, um, but. Uh, I, you know, one of the things I think will make this team uh, incredibly strong for the future is the way they handled it um, and their belief now in what we're doing. Um, you know, you bring in a new offensive system, one that I think fits our personnel, and how electric is it? How fun is it? You know, uh, to be able to see these guys work, uh, not only mixing in, you know, 400 yard pass games, but today, you know, two rushers rush for over 140 yards, you know, combined together. So um, it, it was them learning a system, getting better each and every game with a system, um, you know, and then finally getting kind of healthy down the stretch. I mean, it helps having 29 and 7 out there. <laughs> it helps having 15 out there. Uh, but, you know, so uh, hopefully we get uh, this you know, 13 days to get even more healthy. We'll see what happens. But uh, just a little bit of a perfect storm. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the kids to stay focused, stay ingrained in the process, and really finish strong. Clay, what do you think, um, what do you, think you learned from last year's finish that helped this year? Yeah, you know, I got asked that question the other day, and I think it goes back to spring and fall camp because, you know, last year it's so easy as a coach to um, to focus on a Michael Pittman or a Talanoa, um, but when when you know that college football is very violent and there's going to be injuries, you have to coach from the bottom up, and that's what I asked our coaches to do was to coach the the four string like you would coach the first, and understand that when we get to that player. That, that he's just as productive and spend that extra time with him. Make sure he's getting the reps. Coach him as hard as you can, and we'll look up, and that investment will pay off. You know, And, and, uh, and to be honest with you, I thought we did a better job uh, of that this year, of making sure that uh, every possible scenario was covered. How about a freshman center walking out there today, Justin Dietrich, and, and doing that, what he did? Played phenomenal. You know, So it, it's about coaching every kid in the room and making them better, and I'm proud of our coaches for doing that. Talanoa, Clay mentioned most tackles since Troy. Did you talk to him at all today? Yeah. What that means to you have that experience? Uh, it was great. You know, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. You know, dream come true. Been living in town you know, for a long time now. Uh, just trying to come in. You know, most importantly, make the whole fans proud today and get a win. Hey Clay, you've been here for some high moments, some low moments. What does this school, this program, mean to you? I love this university. Uh, I love the people of this university, how good they've been to myself and my family and our student athletes. Um, it's a special place and it always will be. Um, it, it's been going on for uh, over a century of, of uh, you know, just eliteness and, and how special uh, they take care of uh, their, the people inside. So um, I, I've had a wonderful 10 years here. Uh, I hope to have a lot, heck of a lot more, um, but uh, I have a deep fondness uh, for this university and the people that, that are inside of it.
Michael, what's the biggest way you've seen Keaton grow this season? And could you imagine him having this kind of year when you were first working with them back in the spring and summer? Yeah, yeah. so like, um, it's funny because, no, I didn't see this coming. Like, I didn't see him becoming the new superstar quarterback of college football. Um, I would just say that his, like, decision-making has just improved and you see us being more, um, more um, efficient and uh, making those plays that we weren't making <clears throat> earlier this year. So that's probably the biggest difference. Mike, what kind of help you lost their resilience last time you see before I saw the injuries and things that happened? Yeah, um, we just don't listen to outside noise. So people are like going to talk, like whether you're 10-0 or whether you're 5-5. Five and five, I mean, there's always going to be people uh, talking. So we just close out that noise and we just keep fighting because um, I think that it's like all about us, so we just fight as a team. Coach, are you uh, disappointed a little bit that you let DTR escape a little bit and they, you let them score 35 points? Well, he's been doing that all year. Uh, I tell you what, coming into it, our, our real goal, to be honest with you, um, was to try to slow down Joshua Kelly because um, we knew we had saw him last year and how dominant he can be in ball games. He's an NFL running back. He was 61 yards away from a thousand, and our goal was to hold him under 61 on this day, and we held him to 45. He is a terrific back. He's had a, a magical year, um, and we just didn't want to let him get off. That was the number one thing. Um, are there some things that we need to clean up as far as uh, the passing game? Yeah, and, and we'll get to that. But uh, you know, DTR is a special 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 player and you know he, he's one that can create and, uh, you know I, it, it almost crushed my heart when he made the fourth at 17 and what an unbelievable play he made so uh, he's a special player and give him uh, we got a lot of respect for him and he he battled his butt off today so, um, describe your freshman year no one knew who you were and all of a sudden you're one of the best quarterbacks in the you know, I'm just thankful to have an opportunity. Um, going into the year, I didn't think uh, um, I'd, I'd be in the starting role. Um, obviously, it's unfortunate that it was due to injury, but um, you know, when your opportunity comes, you have to make the most of it. And uh, you know, I just have the opportunity. I'm really grateful for. It. Building off that, you, you've been very deferential and humble all season. I'm not sure accomplishments. Do you anticipate there's a time you'll sit down and really put it in perspective and and be able to appreciate what you did personally? Um, maybe, but again, like I think Coach Harrell said it a few a few weeks back. You know. Any of you in here could probably throw for over 100 yards with these receivers. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's exciting to put up numbers and, and all that. But um, I think I really have a good team around me that makes that happen. Clay, as you you reflect back on this season when you have the opportunity to, with all the positive changes that impacted this program, if you have an opportunity to make additional changes, have you given any consideration as to what those would be? No, I, I'm living in the moment right now, to be honest with you, in the moment of these kids in this day and celebrating. You know, we're, we got a recruiting weekend right now. I got to go to dinner here in a little bit uh, and, and continue that. Um, but I, I'm proud of, I, as a head coach, you hope that your team improves from game one to where they are now. And, you know, I can honestly say this team has improved from game one to where we are right now with more games to play. You also hope that you see progress from year to year. Um, and even with a younger team, I see a team that is progressing from uh, what we ha had happened to us last year to where we are now. You know, we're getting ready. We got an opportunity for sure to go compete for a ninth win. Hopefully, cross our fingers, maybe a tenth. You know, so uh, you want to see progression a as a coach. Um, and what I'm so fired up about is these guys that are coming back. You, you know, I'm gonna. Uh, it breaks my heart to lose six um, and lose 89 and lose 10. But you're looking at so many individuals that were out there on that field coming back and learning from this season. So I love the progression that's happening for the for these kids. They're going to be a, an unbelievable football team for, for this future. Let's do one more. At the recruiting dinner tonight, what is the message to those kids about the future of the program? That USC is an extremely special place and always will be. Um, this is a place that's the 15th ranked academic university uh, in, in America where you can get a quality education and be developed from your freshman year all the way till when you leave and you're ready for the real world. You know, we teach our guys on and off the field how to be professionals, you know, and it, it doesn't matter if I'm the coach uh, uh, or you're the coach. USC is always going to be special, always. You know, that's what this place is, and, and it won't change. The foundation is 125 years strong, all right, and the people within it are strong. 
right? And these players are strong. And if you want to come do something special, you want to jump on the train with, with, with a, some damn good quarterbacks, damn good skills, some young kids, and have a lot of fun, come on. Is that pretty good? Would you come? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. If you offer me a scholar, I'll come. I'll take yeah. a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.